everybody, my name is Vito Bell. If you're new to this channel, I'm 20 years old, going to school for music and Spanish, um, and I love wet shaving. Um, thanks so much for clicking on this video. Um, <clears throat> today I'll be shaving with the, let's start off with this, the Plow 2.0 from Manscaped, um, with a Manscaped blade in there. I haven't tried that. I've shaved once before with the Plow 2.0 and I had a really, really great experience with it. Let me just talk about this for, some more for a second. Um, now there's a lot of blade reveal, if you can see, and the blade is under an extreme amount of tension, like a, a lot of tension. Um, another thing that I found very noticeable about this is that it's really, really heavy. Um, <clears throat> I'll try and get a number for you on the weight. I don't have that right now, um, but it's significantly heavier than a Fat Boy, heavier than really anything else I've ever used, um, which I think is great because um, you know you're not going to be as prone to using pressure. Um, and another thing is it's weighted really nicely as well. I guess that's my hands kind of wet, but you know most of the weight is evenly distributed, um, and the head and the handle of the safety razor. Um, with your finger being put here. So I think that that's pretty nice. It's not handle heavy or top heavy whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> today I'll be shaving with um, the Omega Pro 48 that I've had soaking in this nice glass cup um, while I took a shower. Um, and today I'll be shaving with um, Parasso Green the Cream in the aftershave. Um, and other than that, um, that's it. I'm gonna pause the video and go get a bowl real quick. Okay, I'm back. I have my bowl here. Um, I got this at an antique store and it has, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Oh, oh my gosh, it's, um, it has tarnished. There we go. It is tarnished really nicely in my opinion. It's got all dark and cool looking for silver. Um, so we're going to start. I'm going to put an almond sized dollop of this cream in there. Um, today I'm going to be, I guess, half bowl, half face lathering. Huh. Must be hot or something. Dang. Don't normally have it squeeze out like that. Um, it's just coming right out. Oh, it's pretty hard. Um, put like an almond sized dollop in there. Um, now, I recently discovered this whole half bowl, half face kind of thing. Normally I'm a face lather, um, but after watching some of the videos from The Shaving Chronicles with Guy, um, Guy Solis, um, oh my gosh, I've learned so much so far about just shaving in general, straight razor shaving, um, just just everything. So if you have uh, yet to check his channel out, check it out. We're gonna start. Uh, I'm just gonna start off with this lather here. Um, you know, sometimes you just know that it's time to shave with Barasso. It's been a while for me, I think, especially with the green. It's been hot recently, and the menthol is pretty nice to use. Um, now, this is starting to lather up quite nicely, as uh, Parasso does. I shook all the water out of the brush, and then just uh, loaded the tips just a little bit with water. Maybe just a few centimeters, and, and flicked most of it out, so really, you know, the cream doesn't need a lot of water, in my opinion. Um, and it's going quite nicely. Still, I'm not super aggressive with my brushes. Um, probably why this one took a while to break in and start splitting is I don't really, I don't know, you're not going to see me really just go crazy with my brushes in these bowls. Um, whatever that means. Um, this is just about ready to go on the face. Half bowl, half face. I think it's a great idea. Apparently, uh, he said it's Good for people with sensitive skin, and I certainly fall into that category. So, there we are. This is a big old brush. If you don't have a Pro 48, 
or used a brush this large before. I don't have any sizes or measurements on hand for you, but it's big. It's really big. So, um, moving on. Throw this towel over my shoulder. Hope you can hear me over the fan. I, I did a, a mic test earlier on my phone. Yeah, I'm using my phone to record. Uh, and I, I didn't feel like it intruded too big into the video, and I, I like the light of it. <clears throat> now, I just did that with cold water. If, uh, if you haven't cold water, used cold water pre-shave before, it's really nice. I use cold water before and after shaving now, and it's uh, changed the whole game for me. Like cold water and a warm razor. So I'll just get into um, lathering this on my face now. Oh. Now I've uh, neglected shaving before in any of my videos because. I don't really have a good setup in my bathroom here, but today I, uh, I'm using this little tiny mirror. There you go, you can see you guys on my phone. Um, and that's how I'll be shaving. I guess I'll be looking at my phone and using this little tiny mirror. I'm excited to try that out if this, uh, if it works, I'll probably, uh, probably keep using it. And keep making shaving videos. Mm. Now, Parasso always just does a uh, beautiful job. This lather started out looking like it was a little on the dry side of things, but I mean, you really can't beat that now. After just uh, working and working it. Um, Distributing the water around, it just makes for an amazing, thick, glossy lather, always. Mm. And the menthol is nice as well. started out looking like it was going to be a little dry, but I guess after distributing the water around a little more, oh man, it's just great. Um, it's really thick. Maybe I, uh, oh, <laughs> I don't want to say that I, uh, overloaded the brush. I mean, I may have, but I think it's just the the quality of the cream and this menthol feels amazing with it being so so hot here in western North Carolina alright well now yeah. looks like we're ready it's kind of a lot it's pretty thick I have a lot on there but I'd rather be thick than thin so we'll just uh, we'll move on um like I said before, I like, I like warm razors and cold water. And I'm going to go practice trumpet after this, so make sure I don't get too much soap on my lips. Because uh, dry lips and trumpet playing don't, don't really mix well. Dry, cracked, chapped lips. I always take extra time to... Uh, Take care of the lips when I'm doing this, just because it, I mean, it really is like a huge part of trumpet playing, um, which in turn is a huge part of my life. Now, I believe this is gonna, this won't be too much longer after this. I don't know if you can hear how uh, 
how much tension that blade's under, but it's under a lot. I'm working on, I guess, two days growth here. Just about. I'm not a fast grower. So, uh, two days generally is pretty good for me. Some pimples in there. Ooh. Figured I'd be good just to go across it, but it's like not like I thought it would be. Now, the, the blade and the razor are performing quite nicely. I've already uh, made a video. Um, kind of reviewing the razor and uh, and the whole package it comes in. I'll probably publish that before this. And um, so far, the, the blades are running really nicely. I haven't used the Manscaped blades yet, but I have used the Manscaped razor in it um, for one other shave. And so far, I've had positive experiences both times. Here suck. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for watching this video. This is the first shaving video I've ever put out. I've had some put out. I've had some almost published. But I always stopped because I couldn't get the couldn't get the right angle in here. I couldn't figure out really how to do this, but this mirror, dang, this is working really well for me. No, it's not perfect. I'll probably get a uh, probably get a tripod in here eventually. However, it's working well for now. Um. I'm going to wash all the soap off and see if I need to do the second time. Ooh. Ooh. Menthol, dang. It's cold. Very cold. That's great, though. good experience with a razor. Good experience with the blades too. There wasn't really anything um, of note, anything I had against the blades or uh, any problems I had with them. Lately I've been using um, Astra blades. I believe Astra Platinum. Um, and I guess I wouldn't be wrong to say that, you know, landscape blades are really any different. 
No, I'm not really a not really a two pass kind of guy or three pass kind of guy. I'm just gonna do what I need. Then I'm not really looking for that baby smooth shave. Um, I just kind of do what I need, and since I have sensitive skin, it's best if I, you know, don't do that many passes. I get really dry really quick, really dry, and it sticks with me for about a day. So looks like I'm gonna hit that little spot up really quick. Um, plus, if I do less less passes, then I, I, uh, I guess I regularly shave just about once every two days. You really get a lot of uh, audio feedback with this with this kind of setup. I guess is the one thing that I noticed. You know, with there being just so much blade reveal and so much tension, you can hear everything, which is great, I think, because you can you can hear where you need to hit more, new spots that you got to hit more. I've had some, something going on down here for a while. I'm going here or something. I got pimple closed up too. That's nice. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I've had such a great time making all these, I guess, educational instructional videos. Um, so far, it's been a wild ride. Really fun to put together. Really fun to uh, think about and. Uh, Y'all's feedback has been really, uh, really special to me. I'm very so inspired to keep going. Mm. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> um, and I'll probably start doing more of these shaving videos. It's kind of nice. It's kind of fun. Um, it's kind of weird for me to have all this content out and not shaving any of it. It's kind of like. I don't know what to call that. That's pretty weird though. Having a bunch of content but never really shaving in front of the camera. Or having shaved in front of the camera like before, but never really publishing any of it. Um, but, looks like I'm done. Um, really great experience with the, the Manscaped Safety Razor Plow 2.0. I would recommend it to anyone. I would say it's like an intermediate beginner razor, um, just because it's really safe, you can't see the tabs on it. Um, for a full review on I guess check out my review video on it, I talk more about the weight, talk more about the tabs and the blade reveal and everything, but I had a good experience with it. If you never tried it before, then I'd try it out. It's cool that the um, Manscaped company is doing this. I think it's really great that we have um, all these newer companies um, supporting vintage shaving, supporting uh, DE wet shaving, um, even though they do sell electric razors and stuff like that. So I think it's cool. I'd love to see more videos and see what y'all think about it. Um, if you have any questions, um, leave drop one below in the comments section. Um, I love hearing the comments, love connecting with y'all. Um, once again, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider um, liking the video, subscribing to my channel, um, comment, commenting on this video and on my other videos, maybe the other video about this. Um, if you are subscribed to me, thank you so much. It means so much to me and inspires me to do more videos all the time. So um, once again, thanks so much for your time. Have a great day. Happy shaving. I'll see you next time.